This video is for my dear friends in Christ. I want to show you something that once and for all disproves the so-called theory of evolution. This my friends is the evolutionist's nightmare. Oh yes, the humble banana. This is a nightmare for evolutionists. Watch what shape it has. Watch how it has ridges that fit as if by magic the fingers of a human hand. And watch how it's exactly the right size for holding. It also has, as you can see, this handy little thing for opening it. And it has an indicator on it to show you when it's perfect for eating. Now this one isn't 100% there because it's still a little bit green. But when it's just yellow with the tiniest hint of brown, that's when it's ripe. And if it's too brown, then it's too much. And if we go to the inside of this evolutionist's nightmare, we will see the fruit that our Lord God has put inside for us. And when we look at this fruit, we will see that it's just perfect for eating. And then, when we open it, inside, we will see it. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Where are the pips? Why aren't there any pips in here? How is this thing meant to procreate if there are no pips inside? How can this have... How can this procreate if there are no pips inside? There have to be pips inside! Why not there any pips inside? Oh no! Oh no! Nom 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 nom. Hmm. This is nice! You know why there are no pips inside? You fucking morons. For a very simple reason. Because this is not a natural fruit. This is the product of years and years of human genetic modification called breeding. All banana plants are clones of each other. Yes indeed. And they have to be clones of each other because they don't contain pips. A banana plant can't procreate of its own accord. And the only reason why we still have banana plants is because we've bred them this way and we are ensuring that they keep being cloned and cloned and cloned for our delight and delectation. Bon appétit!